top five greatest rappers of all time. The list goes like this. Number one, Lil Wayne. Number two, Eminem. Number three, Kanye West. Four, Drake. Number five, Tupac Shakur. Now I know a lot of y'all wondering, why am I saying that these are the GOATs? Well, the last video I made, I got a lot of comments because I said that Tupac is the most overrated rapper of all time. Now I still believe that. I ain't gonna never stop believing that. But what was interesting about the comments is the defense that people had that were trying to tell me that Pac was the GOAT. The classifications of Pac being the greatest rapper of all times in the comment section of the last video goes as follows. One, impact, influence, how his body of work touched many of people through his words and through his poetry. And I like to throw in record sales because, you know, you got to have record sales when you're talking about the greatest rappers of all time. I think the top five that I just came up with it's undeniable because all of the rappers in this top five that I just named has those exact same qualifications as Tupac. They got impact, they got influence, they got the body of work to prove it, and my favorite, they got the record sales. I don't see how anybody can disagree with this. Now, what's funny about this is that I never liked having GOAT conversations, but now I love it. I love it because I don't see how anybody can deny this list. Now, another thing about my last video that I just couldn't really seem to understand is that people were saying that, nah, bro, Pac ain't overrated. Eminem is overrated. No, 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 bro, Pac ain't overrated. Drake is the one that's overrated. No, 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 scratch that. Pac ain't overrated. Wayne is overrated. Now, I don't see how y'all can have GOAT conversations and say that those rappers are overrated because they're in that same bracket as Tupac. They have those same qualifications as pop so when we talking about the goats there is no way that those rappers don't fall in the same category it's just facts the reason why wayne is number one is because wayne today he is the most influential rapper wayne has influenced a whole generation his body of work you could take it back to the hot boy wayne lil wayne on the hot boys was a lot of people's favorites but see, Wayne kind of did a Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson started off with a group and Michael Jackson was young. Wayne also started off with a group. Wayne was also young. Wayne went boom, pie out. It all started with the block is hot, lights out. When it got to that Carter series, it was over. His position as far as influence was solidified once the Carters came out. Not only that, but mixtape Wayne. Wayne's influence is undeniable undeniable ask any rapper today who they favorite rapper is nine times out of ten they're going to say little wayne i guarantee you that guarantee so wayne is most certainly a go okay the only rappers that i do listen to heavy on this list i don't want to just say that i don't listen to none of these rappers i love Pac, love old eminem and i still like kanye west but these people aren't in my top five or top 10. This is GOAT conversation. This is GOAT talk. You talking about the GOATs, the greatest of all time. You gotta have these people in the list. Number two, I got Eminem. The reason Eminem is at number two, not so much of his influence because Eminem isn't as influential as Lil Wayne. He isn't as influential as Tupac. He ain't as influential as Kanye West. But the man's fan base is like no other in hip hop. This is why he ranks high because Eminem has a very loyal, diehard fan base. Plus, Eminem still sells well. He might not pull 11 million, but I guarantee you it's gonna be a million or close to a million. I don't think his last album, I don't know, but I know the albums he dropped after the Eminem show, they still did millions. So numbers wise, fan base wise, Eminem is a GOAT. And he said he was a rap guy, come on, he's a GOAT. So for all them people that saying Eminem overrated, not in GOAT talk, in GOAT talk, he top five. Now, honestly, I think that you can play around with this top five. I'm not gonna say that this is the top five, but this is how I see the greatest of all time. Maybe y'all see it different, but you cannot have nobody like MF Doom in this list because he don't got the qualifications as none of the people in this list. You have to have the rappers with the stats. If they don't got these stats, they can't be in the GOAT 
list. Not at all. Now let's get to Kanye West. Just like Wayne, Kanye influenced a whole wave. Come on, man. As much as I do not like 808 Heartbreak, that album right there influenced so many, so many rappers we have today. Kid Cudi, Chance the Rapper, whole bunch of people. You can go as far as to say Future, Drake. That album influenced a lot of heavyweights in the game right now. Not only is Kanye West influential, but he also has the numbers as well. I forgot to mention that Wayne has sold 110 million records total. Eminem has sold 220 million records total. Eminem is the highest selling rapper ever. He sold the most records out of all rappers. Eminem. He a GOAT. He a GOAT. Eminem fans, y'all finna love this video. He a GOAT. Undeniable. Kanye. 135 million records sold but not only that but the man was influential not just music he was also influential when it comes to fashion as well he got a lot of people into fashion that's also influential you can say the same thing about wayne i think wayne was the wayne had to be the rapper that kicked off the dreads trend i'm not going i'm not saying that he was the first rapper to have dreads because he wasn't but he definitely made it popular tattoos everywhere tattoos on the face that's all wayne wayne gotta be the most influential rapper of all time but like i said i put him in pock neck and neck but yeah that's why kanye west is number three now we move into number four drake now, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you right now, Drake ain't in none of my top nothing. Drake is ass, in my opinion. I'm going to keep saying this in the video, that this is not my list. This is the greatest of all. These are the GOATs by the clap, by the qualifications that y'all gave Pac. You can't deny this. Drake has to be in this list. This man has to be the most popular rapper in the game for the last 10 years. Gotta be. Because I think Drake came on the scene in like 09. So it's probably 11 years. Dude hasn't, fa Dude hasn't fallen off yet. It's been a decade, bro. A decade. Now, even though I don't like Drake's music, I gotta give credit where credit is due. The man hasn't fallen off. He continues to drop albums, songs that got the whole world going crazy. Everybody dancing, everybody singing. He most definitely a GOAT. Drake is undeniably a GOAT. Top five. Come on, man. I can't even think of another rapper that has that that has been on top for a decade. On the real, I probably need to put Drake higher. Cause like I said, you can play around with the list. The man don't, what, what they be saying? He don't miss. He do. I ain't even gonna talk about his influence. Come on, man. Influence wise, pssst, huh. come on, come on now. Dude is definitely a GOAT. Honestly, I think that these five people is undeniable, but you can also put Jay-Z in this list and 50 Cent. And if we talking influence, you can put Soldier Boy in the list, Gucci Man. But let's get to the number five spot. Now, the reason I put Pac at five was to piss y'all off. I know y'all gonna get mad. I already know. <laughs> I already know. But in my personal opinion, Pac ain't number one in the GOAT list because he's been surpassed by Wayne, by Eminem, by Drake, whether you want to believe it or not. But out of this list, Pac is my favorite. Pac is my favorite out of this list. Cause just like I said in my last video, man, Pac ain't put out no Pac ain't put out no whack albums, bro. He's not in my list, but he's definitely in the GOAT list. Definitely. Influence? Come on now. Come on, bro. How many rappers did Pac influence? About four, five hundred. Same as Wayne. Definitely in the list. But the reason I put Eminem over Pac was simply his core following. Eminem's core following and his, and, his, and his record sales. But like I said, you can play around with the list. But yeah, man. The last video I dropped really had me thinking. The unpopular opinion videos, it really had me thinking. And like I said, I never really liked having GOAT conversations, but man, I'm starting to like these conversations now because this is not my personal opinion. These are just people that are in that bracket when it comes to numbers, influence, and impact on the game. This is the top five. Gotta be. Who else? Like I said, you can't put no, you can't, you can't put no, um, MF Doom. Who else? You can't even put a Kendrick in this list. Can't, bro. Kendrick ain't on nobody level on, on this list. <laughs> he not. But I'm going to end this off by saying this. My personal opinion, there is no such thing as the greatest rapper of all time. I've always said this. My list is my list. And that's how I think it should be with everybody. The reason, the, the, the number one reason why I think Pac is overrated is that everybody says that you got to have them in your list. If you don't have them in your list, 
You don't know what you're talking about. I don't like that. Well, all y'all Pac fans, if y'all don't have these rappers in y'all list, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Because these rappers had influence, they had impact, just like Pac did. So, uh, come on, man. Top five greatest rappers of all time. I'm going to read it off again. Lil Wayne, Eminem, Kanye West, Drake, Tupac. Top five, man. It is what it is, bruh.